Hello and welcome to things I find interesting that happened today in the past, aka TPTTITP. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day, the icon of which can be seen as cut off prevention at the beginning and end of each episode. The music in the background is Breathe by Glued, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Anyway, on with the show! Today is Freya's Day, aka Friday, April 15th, 2016. In 2014, over 200 female students were declared missing after a mass kidnapping in Borno State, Nigeria. In 2013, two bombs exploded near the finish line during the Boston Marathon, causing the deaths of three and injury of 264 others. In 1989, upon the death of Hu Yaobang, the Tiananmen Square protests of 1989 began in China. Also in 1989, the Hillsborough disaster occurred, in which a human stampede caused the deaths of 96 via crushing at Hillsborough Stadium during the FA Cup semifinal. In 1986, the United States launched Operation El Dorado Canyon, which was bombing raids against Libyan targets in response to a bombing in West Germany that resulted in the deaths of two U.S. servicemen. So wait, let me get this straight. We put U.S. Armed Forces boots on the ground of a country that is not ours, end up suffering well-deserved casualties, and instead of getting the clue to get the hell out, we instead continue our self-righteous world police mentality and retaliate to a justified action by murdering more innocent people. Brilliant! In 1984, the inaugural World Youth Day was held in St. Peter's Square, Vatican City. In 1983, Tokyo Disneyland opened to the public. In 1970, during the Cambodian Civil War, massacres of the Vietnamese minority resulted in 800 corpses flowing down the Mekong River into South Vietnam. In 1969, North Korea shot down a U.S. Navy aircraft over the Sea of Japan, resulting in the deaths of all 31 on board. Once again, another situation that could have been avoided if we just stayed the hell out of other countries' business. In 1964, the first Ford Mustang rolled off the showroom floor two days before it was set to go on sale nationwide. In 1960, Ella Baker led a conference at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina, which resulted in the creation of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which became one of the principal organizations of the Black United States Citizen Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. In 1955, McDonald's Restaurant dated its founding to the opening of a franchise storefront by Ray Kroc in Des Plaines, Illinois. And thus, one of the worst things humanity can bring into reality came forth. Ba 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 ba, please go away, McDonald's. In 1936, Aer Lingus, aka Aer Lingus, was founded by the Irish government as a national airline of the Republic of Ireland. In 1927, the Great Mississippi Flood of 1927 began and is to date the most destructive river flood in U.S. history. In 1924, Rand McNally published its first road atlas. In 1923, insulin became generally available for use by people with diabetes. In 1922, U.S. Senator John B. Kendrick of Wyoming introduced a resolution which called for an investigation of a secret land deal, which led to the discovery of the Teapot Dome scandal. In 1912, the British passenger liner RMS Titanic sunk in the North Atlantic at 2.20 a.m., two hours and 40 minutes after hitting that legendary iceberg. Only 710 of the 2,227 passengers and crew on board survived due to the ignorance and audacity of White Star Line. In 1896, the closing ceremony of the Games of the First Olympiad in Athens, Greece took place. In 1892, the General Electric Company was formed. In 1865, President Abraham Lincoln died after having been shot the previous evening by John Wilkes Booth. Vice President Andrew Johnson subsequently became president. In 1861, President Abraham Lincoln called for 75,000 volunteers to quell the insurrection that soon became the American Civil War. In 1817, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and Laurent Clerc founded the American School for the Deaf, the first United States school for deaf students, located in Hartford, Connecticut. In 1783, preliminary articles of peace ending the American Revolutionary War, aka American War of Independence, were ratified. And in 1755, Samuel Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language was published in London. Births, Seth Rogen, 1982, Leonardo da Vinci, 1367. Deaths, Toto, 1967. And that concludes TFTTTP for your dose of passive and daily. I am AO and you are you. Toodles!